Welcome to the NBS2 Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Doterra. Draytona! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I love that game. It, it's one of those classical arcade games. I, I think I talked about this, right? Did I? I feel like uh, I did. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I remember we were talking about it. We were talking about arcade machines one time. You guys were, you and Silver were talking about, well, I knew about the games, but the titles I didn't know. And you're like, what, Twitter? You don't know about this game? And then once I saw the pictures, I'm like, yeah, I know this game. Yeah, I mean, I, I was going to use that in, you know what? No problem. We, I still can recycle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Just include the sound effect <laughs> of the harp flashback. <laughs> Just, yeah, probably. But anywho, uh, in today's episode review, we are going to review... The My Little Pony um, Friendship is Magic comic issue number 87 and 88 titled The Fast and the Furious. Not to be confused with the Pony Life episode. No, no, no. Uh, this is the comic and stuff. Yes. Which is kind of funny because they use the same title and there's no changes. But anywho, but anywho. Uh, let's see. In this uh, story, Rainbow Dash and Big Mac takes part in the Daytona Beach 500, which an antiquities dealer used as a cover to smuggle a priceless artifact. Wow, okay. But anywho, uh, before I get into the comic, uh, first impressions are in order. And Tara, what do you think? I really like this. Uh I, I like I got nothing else. Well, it's not like I got nothing else to say, but I really liked how this went. I liked how the setup was. I liked the Draytona reference. Like literally, while I was going through the comic, and then Rainbow Dash is like, "I need to get ready for the Draytona race." So it's like oh, Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about that one too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just like how it was. I like the setup and everything. I like the lesson of it, and actually, funny story about that. While I was on break, I didn't even mm. know that we were going to look over part two. So while we were on break, I looked over part two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a two-parter. It's a two-parter, which yeah. is kind of I won't say rare, but uh, from the way that we've been reviewing the comics, it hasn't been uh, that obvious because it's always a one-parter, 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 and suddenly two parts. Yes. <clears throat> So, yeah. But anywho, um, as for me, I, I like this comic too. This comic was a lot of fun. We get to, we, we get an insight into Big Mac's history or background. And then we get some thrilling action with the uh, antique dealer and whatnot. So, this comic was fun. And it's drawn by Tony Fleece and written by Ted Anderson. And that's also cool too. Yes. So, Anyways, uh, before we no, I already said that. Yeah, no. Uh, before if you guys at home have not re- read this comic yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy the comic. So let's start your engines and get a reading. So we start off the comic with well, a pony, a hooded pony figure, uh, climbing up a mountain peak somewhere in the Dragonlands. It seems like he's stealing something and running away. Oh no, he stole something. That's bad. But he stole in style because he did an Indiana Jones reference. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But, you know, I'm not going to butt it because it's fun. It's fun. So, in the next panel or in the next page, we see Rainbow Dash B... Um, Waking up really early, just heading to the apple farm. Um, what was the apple farm again called? Uh, Sweet Apple Acres, yes. Heading to Sweet Apple Acres and asking Applejack for some help to train in the Daytona 500s. <laughs> she explains the uh, Daytona 500 is a really uh, rigorous and dangerous track race thing. And she explains about the history of it. And Applejack says, yeah, I know about it. I so, big back racing it before. And Rainbow Dash heads to the barn and goes to Big Mac and asks her to help her train and whatnot. And we get to see a part where Rainbow Dash is on the floor, kind of 
rolling? I, I don't know. It's, that's, that's the kid thing. And Big Max just says, okay, I'll help you. Here you go. Here's my cart. And with that, we have a training montage. And uh, they head off to Yakistan. And I'm going to pause here. Tara, what do you think? Well, I, I like how it... Um... Start like I basically like the setup. I like how well I like the Indiana Jones reference, and well, what I am curious about is how did he get Mister Smarty Pants? Didn't Big Mac take it? <laughs> no, no. Um, Mister Smarty Pants is a toy line or a doll line, and so there's multiples of it. It's just that, uh, from what I understand, Twilight's version is a bit run down and a bit used. This one looks like it's new. Hmm. But, uh, where was it? Yes. So I like how the, I don't know, I just can't get over the fact that I, they actually mentioned the reference Daytona, and the only difference is they called it Draytona. I, I, I just want to pick your brain a bit. So, oh. Dray, Dray, Daytona, like, like, do you know the, its origins? The Draytona? No, no, Daytona. Mm, no, I don't actually. You, you know it's a real event, right? Or a real company? Yes. Okay, so I'm just wondering because like it sounds like it sounds like you only knew know it no sorry. It's so uh, it sounds like that you only know of it from the Sega arcade game. No, no. I mean that's when I first found out about it and you know, it has a it has a catchy theme song. But no, I I know it's an actual company. Alright, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> just had to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like the setup. I like how everything went. And that one frame of Rainbow Dash, uh, I wouldn't say throwing a tantrum, but she, I don't know, she just looks adorable in that one frame. I know. <laughs> that one panel just looks so cute. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do like the setup. Like, we, even though it's just a one panel, sorry, a one page spread, uh, nothing to be, nothing too fancy, no words, just uh, ono, onomatopoeia. Uh, sneak, 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 uh, whips, trade, and runs. Like, th- that's enough to tell the quote-unquote story. And, like, after that, we get to see Rainbow Dash uh, realizing that, okay, she's, um, she just heard of this uh, Daytona race and she just wants to participate and just to prove her mettle. And knowing that somebody close to the family does it, uh, done, done it, uh, she wants to pick her, pick his brain and try to well, get to it. I mean, the whole setup is just awesome. Like, there's no, there's nothing boring about this whole uh, part. And yeah, anyway, I'm gonna carry on. So once they arrive at Yakistan, or at least the border of Yakistan. Uh, from what I remember, I think they said that the race starts at the border of Equestria. Mm, yeah, sorry, my bad. The border of Equestria heading up to Yakistan. So, anywho, um, once the guys head over there, they kind of you know just hang around and just go to the registration counter. By the way, Tara, before I continue any further, uh, once they arrive in Yakistan, who do you see following them, like? Uh, the at least the students like who's joining them? Uh, Yona. Anybody else? No, wait a minute. Yeah, they they also have Sandbar, Silverstream. At least it looks like Silverstream. Yeah, I I was wondering about that because we don't see them at all. Like after after that, like we only see Yona. I mean, Yona's logical because uh, she's heading, or they're heading close to Yakistan, so why not bring her along so she could visit her family? So that's all cool. But, like, I, I feel like that's Sandbar and Silverstream. Why? why yeah, why it they... almost looks like them. Yeah, I mean, it, I guess it's them, but I, no, I, I don't know. I mean, just has pointed out. <laughs> so, anyway, carrying on. Uh, the group kind of huddles near the entrance and Spike just saying that it's a it's really cool uh, and Yona just says uh, everybody loves the race uh, ponies, griffins even donkeys except dragon and dragon don't really like the race because it's cold and they 
see other dragons in the place too. So that's fascinating too. So on their way to hit the registration counter, they someone calls up to Big Mac and it is Silver Streak. Oh no. And Silver Streak seems like this douchey character. Like he's all like oozing with jerkness. How how do I put this? It feels like he is a Chad. You know what I mean? <laughs> a Chad? Yeah. A Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. But yeah, um, him saying that, oh, um, Big Mac and I were close friends since farm school and whatnot. And, uh, what, what do you guess? Uh, he, he says that, oh, uh, since you're here, probably, uh, we we can settle this rivalry that we have, and Big Mac runs away. Oh no! Why did Big Mac run away? The rest of the crew runs over to Big Mac, and we see a imp looking thing sneaking around, and it seems that he is working for the mysterious hooded pony figure. And he goes by the name of Dr. Sex... Sex Romer? Sex Romer. It, it just sounds funny. <laughs> I know. Uh, sex Romer. Am I saying it right? Because yes, I Sex Romer. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to call him Dr. S, like how his imp friend is doing. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Silver will get a kick out of this. <laughs> I know. But anywho... Um... The doctor asks, no, sorry, not the doctor asks, um, the imp just tells the doctor that, hey, uh, there's a bunch of dragons out there looking for the artifact and whatnot. And the doctor says, okay, no problem, we'll just hide it in one of, oh, sorry, we hide it in my cart, so uh, in the race, I could just cross the border without even getting caught, because I am a participant of the race and whatnot. And it is a good idea. And, yep, that, that's their plan. So, we head back to the others. And Rainbow Dash is trying to get used to the terrain over at the, the border of uh, Equestria heading to Yakistan. And once she tries pulling her cart, uh, she crashes. And she just mentions that, I'm not used to running on rocks this hard. And Big Mac is thinking something. Like, okay, um, Rainbow Dash, why don't you see me how I do it? And probably you pick up some tips. And we get to see Big Mac doing the stuff that he do. And he is really good at it. Like, he is great. No wonder he's a champ. And Silver comes along and collapse and kind of eggs on. Silver is just being really com- really confronting like really egging him on like what is his malfunction and he tells the crew or he tells them like why don't you ask Big Bang himself so they head to their tent and Spike helps translate what Big Mac is thinking <clears throat> So, it all started in farm school where Big Mac and Silver hang out and they, well, they're the best of friends because uh, Silver was Big Mac's only friend. Uh, and also, Silver has a knack for racing and thinks that Big Mac would be awesome at it. And being a pal, Big Mac joins the join, joins in the race because... Uh, he wants to make his friend happy, but somehow he is he he is much better at it than Silver, and he gets jealous and angry. And with that, before Big Mac realized what he did, it was already too late, and Big Mac swore never to race again because he lost a friend that way. Rainbow Dash, hearing this, says that that's stupid, and I'm going to confront Silver about it. And I'm gonna pause here. Tara, what do you think? Well, I kind of wish that we got a name of the imp, so that way, you know, we just don't keep calling him imp. But another thing, too, is... Oh, 
Sorry? I, I think we do because uh let's see da, 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 da. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> Lumpy. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, and, carrying on. And also another thing too is that we got a lot of silvers in this uh I fandom. Know. We got Silver yeah. Stream, now there's Silver Streak, and then there's Silver Quill. Yep, and also I, I remember there's another silver before this. Oh, man. Just so many silvers. I'm pretty sure if you would type in a Google search right now, put like MLP silver, it would be like, oh, what what do you mean silver? Like Silver Shoals, Silver Stream, Silver Streak. Silver Quill. <laughs> <laughs> or Silver Spoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. Actually, let's see. MLP Silver. Oh, yeah. There's Silver Spoon, Silver Stream, Silver Shells, Silver Quill, Silver oh, really? Stream and Gallus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, cool. <clears throat> but uh, what about a comic? Carrying on. <laughs> yes. I'm getting distracted. But, um, yeah, so the comic. It is qu- It's just, like when uh, Silver Streak first came in, he's all like, oh, yes, we used to be friends. We used to be friends. It's like, okay. You're like rubbing, you're like egging it on. And it's like, oh, you just hate those kinds of people that just egg things on. And then when you yeah. see why, it's like, really? That's why you're not friends? Because he beat you in something that you like and you got all huffy about it? <laughs> yeah, and especially after you're the one that introduced him to it and he's yep. only doing it because... He's your friend. Yep, don't don't make sense. He he oozes Chad. <laughs> like the way he looks, the way he talks, like uh Chad all over the place. Yeah, maybe we should just call him Chad from now instead of Silver. <laughs> yeah, Chad. <laughs> uh, but anywho, <clears throat> I, I, I'm gonna carry on because we have another chapter or another issue to cover. So I'm gonna just yeah. try and speed things along. So anyway, Rainbow Dash confronts Chad and just tells him that is it true that uh, you bro you you um broke up or just didn't become friends with Big Mac because he beat you in a race that you told him to join and whatnot blah blah blah, and they fight and in the end of it, Rainbow Dash just says, "Okay, if you win, yeah, you win, but if Big Mac wins." You have to be his friend again, why not? And they agree, and somehow Big Mac is entering the race. So uh, they register Big Mac to the race, and yeah, it seems that now it's a race for friendship. Okay, yay. <laughs> so in the next page, we see Lumpy getting a note from Dr. S. Dr. S? Yes, Dr. S. Uh, saying to put the what you call this idol in his cart, and Lumpy gets the cart number ninety one. Okay, he gets the cart, he found the cart and put it in. And while this is happening, I do notice that hey, wait, why is Lumpy putting the idol in Rainbow Dash's cart? Huh? Okay, I mean it doesn't matter. So yeah, whatever. So we head off to the next page and the participants are getting ready. They're at the starting line. They're warming up and they're ready to go. Woohoo. And by the way, I noticed myself on another panel. What? <laughs> Wait, you're on, you're on a panel? Oh, yeah, you yes. are. I know. <laughs> How'd you get in there? I don't know. I'm surprised as you are. <laughs> So, anywho, <clears throat> the rest of the crew or the rest of the participants get onto the starting line and ready to race. Dr. S asks Lumpy, where did you put the idol? And Lumpy says, yeah, I did I, I did as you asked. I put the idol in cart 91. Dr. S tells Lumpy that you idiot. You got it upside down. Uh, now I have to chase after cart 91 and get back my idol and honestly this is the doctor's fault because whenever you're dealing with numbers especially 9 and 6 you have to put a underline for the number 6 like if not you're just gonna get 
confused. But anywho, as they get up to the starting line, they get ready, set, and go. And that ends the issue, sorry, and that ends issue 87. I'm just going to power through. So as we continue on to issue 88, sorry, was it 88? Yes, uh, issue 88. Uh, we see that Rainbow Dash is in the lead and Big Mac is in second while uh, Chad is in third. So the, uh, sorry, Spike and Yona are just cheering for Big Mac and Rainbow Dash to go fast and fast. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut a few corners here and there. Uh, the announcer says that uh, leading the pack is Chad. Second place is the Wonder Bolts, Wonderkin, Rainbow Dash, and a long participant that hasn't been in the race for a long time, Big Macintosh. So while this is going on, uh, Chad here is trying to make a speech about how this race is going to prove that he's the best, blah, 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 blah. And Rainbow Dash just passed him. So Dr. S sees that, oh no, uh, Card 91 is really far away. Lumpy, why don't you do something about it? And Lumpy leaps from cart to cart just to try and get to Rainbow Dash's cart. As the race goes on, we see that Chad here is really talking and stuff. And Rainbow Dash also chimes in like, Big Mac didn't want to race? Maybe he just wants a friend or something like that? I mean, um, Big Mac doesn't say much, but yeah, it's true. I mean, he just joined because his best friend wants to... Wanted him to join and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, I'm just rehashing the same thing. But in the blimp, Spike asks the dragons, uh, who are you rooting for? They say none because uh, they suspect uh, that one of the racers uh, is a thief that stole the artifact that is from the dragon lands. And we're here to get it before they reach the Yakistan border. And... Spike says, wait, a golden idol? I, I saw that in Rainbow Dash's cart. And the dragons are a bit angry at Spike because they didn't really, uh, he didn't really report it. And to be honest, it's not really Spike's fault because he doesn't know that that was the whole MO. But I'm going to pause here. Tara, what do you think, man? I've talked a long game. So what do you think? I mean, even though we talked about a lot, not really much to say because the race just begun and they're all racing. They have a little talk here and there, like, you know, uh, Chad talks about how great it is to race again. Rainbow zooms by. The bad guy's like, get this. And he leaps around to go get it. Just, yeah, they can't really say much. At least that's what I see. I do like, though, that after Rainbow Dash zooms by, he's like, hey, I'm trying to have an emotional confrontation with my friend here, and you're ruining it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so Chad. <laughs> uh, if, he was a, if, he, if he was a mare, she would, he would, she would be a Karen. Oh, Chad. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the race is not bad. Like, I, I really like the tempo. Like, this comic here is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Just trying to double check here. Okay, cool. Anything more to add? Mm, no, not that I can think of. Alrighty then. Anyway, just going to carry on. So the two dragons hit to the announcer, telling them to stop the race because uh, they need to get the idol back. Uh, but the announcer says that no, he can't do that because they're in a very dangerous stretch of road and it will be dangerous for them to just suddenly stop the race there and also they will get scolded by their sponsor oh no great shadow legends go play that game oh no how could you sponsors <laughs> anyway with that the race keeps going on and they can't really do much so they notice that hey, there's an imp following, uh, which we call this. Uh, oh, there's an imp heading to Rainbow Dash's cart. Uh, the dragons jump out of the blimp, 
to chase down uh, the racers. Rainbow Spike hints to Rainbow Dash, telling her what's going on, but Rainbow Dash doesn't really listen because she's focusing on the race. And, yeah, can't do much because, well, but uh, Spike has little wings. Uh, there's a cart passed by Spike and it's an, an imp is on there. Spike heads to the imp and confronts him and asking him who's behind all of this and what is his involvement. The imp just explains a little bit of who is in charge and whatnot, and decides to escape and ditch the doctor because he had enough of it. While that's happening, we see Chad and Big Mac race. And yeah, it's kind of cool, awesome, because Chad managed to jump the canyon. And yeah, Rainbow Dash just passes him by. Uh, while that's going on, we see Dr. S pass by... Uh, what you call this? Pass him by too. So they're close at the finishing line. Rainbow Dash can see that, okay, I just need to push myself harder and I can hit to the finishing line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Dr. S uh, hits Rainbow Dash's cart and causes an accident. Oh no. Uh, Rainbow Dash is a bit confused at what's going on. And Chad just leaps over the wreckage and... Wins the race. Yay! Chad is number one. And as he looks back to where Big Mac is, he notices that, oh, Big Mac is helping Rainbow Dash and whatnot. And is, well, from the expression on his face, he seems a bit sad. So Rainbow Dash asks what happened. It feels like I got knocked over by this one bad pony oh no and he's trying to steal my cart as he tries to sorry um spy comes in and explains the whole situation and dr s goes to the finishing line trying to escape but before he can cross the finishing line yona comes in to save the day by squashing on him oh no so with that the dragon comes in arrests Dr. S, get the statue back and everything is cool except they're freezing and they need to head back home fast. And Chad here looks back and talks to Big Mac saying that uh, he understands what's going on and he's sorry uh, because he feels that he got no idea. If he was in that situation, he probably wouldn't have a friend to help him out of it. And Chad here says he's sorry to Big Mac and he really messed up and wants to be friends with Big Mac again and ask for his forgiveness. Big Mac here says, uh, yep, and they are pen pals now. Yay, that's awesome. And with that, they head back home. But Rainbow Dash realizes that, hey, uh, this is one of those races that I participated and never finished. Oh no, this this has to be something major like an end of an era oh god no what's going on and spike just says eh there's always next season and with that the comic ends yay so tara what do you think i really like this i feel like this could have been a good episode oh, I thought, sorry this could have been a good story to be animated because i like the idea of the Draytona race and going from the border of Equestria to Yak Yakistan and they have a good lesson of, you know, uh, always take care of your friends and whatnot. It's not always about winning. And like I I, I don't know how to exactly explain it, but you know what the lesson is of, as well. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, it, the, the lesson is simple. The lesson is winning is not everything. Yes. And uh, friendship is important, and in this scenario here, if your if your friend is better than you, you shouldn't really feel jealous over it. You should feel happy and proud that you're 
the guy responsible for your friend participating and being in the thing that he's good at. I mean, it is a bit frustrating, granted, but at the same time too, you have to have a sense of pride. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, he decided to be jealous because I'm the guy that's all good with the racing, but no, you have to steal my thunder. Uh, evil, evil, evil. Yeah, that's just uh, like if I, I don't know. I like how it was and everything, but I feel like this could have been much better if it was uh, animated because I would actually like to see how the race goes, you know, because all we see is moving pictures. I mean, moving pictures, that's what animation is, duh. All we mm-hmm. see is still pictures. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then we see like you know them hopping over. We see the crash. We see them do all these tight turns and whatnot. It's like this would be interesting to see how this was. Like uh, when Chad jumps over the bridge to get to the other side, I thought that you know his cart's gonna start falling and he's gonna fall down or something. And no, maybe it just zooms by. But it's like we don't really get to see that. Cause it's just still pictures. Yep, but still. It's one of those cases where, you know, it's, it's the same thing like I went, mentioned about the uh, Ocellus dance. But overall, um, as, as for me, the comic here was not bad. I, I, I like the art. I like the story. The, the lesson is a good one to um, adhere to. Or the, the, the story is good. The story is good. But other than that, I feel that the conflict was... Hmm. It was a minor conflict, but it wasn't really that huge of an impact for the story. It was just there. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. It was it was I feel like it wasn't really ham fisted in. It was a nice balance. Like, okay, this is the conflict and this is the reason why Rainbow Dash won't win. But it's all okay. But mm-hmm. anywho, uh, with with that uh episode, uh sorry, uh comic ends and well, let's wrap it up. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see. So, Tara, what are we gonna do for next week? And I think I'm putting you on the spot because I haven't told you yet. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so next week thing is going to be uh Pony Life season one episode eleven. A camping we will go and. Campfire stories. Yep. Hmm, but knowing uh, Pony Life, that the whole camping trip and campfire story is probably going to last for like 10 minutes. 11 at most. <laughs> but anywho, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissionjima.com. If you like, sorry, uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. Or they can just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyFlife.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcasts and deleted content. And talking about, sorry, I'm uh, sorry, uh, exclusive and deleted content. Oh, wow, I'm so out of it. <laughs> and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I am Torterra. We'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Bye-bye. And I don't have the audio, so... So, yeah, that, that was an amazing race. Like, I like the race. The race is good. But I feel like they should have put more horsepower into it. <laughs> oh, I can't really say anything because I lost the bat. <laughs> the p- mm, I, I don't know. Oh man. No. I put no, like a but- hundred bits on Rainbow Dash to win. Yeah. Like if yeah, you know what? If if you have Rainbow Dash in the race, you would have put her as the likely one to win. Huh. Exactly. But not really, because when you really think about it, how many races does she won? 
like on camera. Like the four with the friends, she lost Twilight one. This one she lost. Chat one. What else did she participate? <laughs> yeah, even the derby card, she lost. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Betting on Rainbow Dash is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Anyway. Well, I already made my bet, so I lost. Oh, well, okay. Can't can be helped. <laughs> Bye. Ah.